Hello, everybody. This is Indie Geek. And this is Lady Geek. Welcome to episode three of Multiplayer Mondays. We are just about where we left off in Portal 2. And hopefully we'll have a little less problems with figuring out these next puzzles than we have with the last one. So, I don't know what's going on here. Well, we've what got our jumper thing, so I put a portal there because that seemed... Appropriate? Yeah, it seemed like a... Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. Oops. Well, I did you the wrong portals, but failed. that's that's okay. So you don't don't follow me through, I guess. Okay. It would make the most sense. Okay, so I landed on a button. What did that do? Oh, it opened up a thingy. Okay. So oh, now yeah. if you go through and you put one above the jumper and oh. one on that slanted tile up there, it should send you through that. So if you haven't kind of picked up by now, Kind of the best way to figure out how to start is anytime you see an opening like that, see if there's a tile across from it. Yeah, and figure out if you can jump across. Yeah. Okay, well, I've got a couple panels over here. Okay. One of them's slanted, and one of them is pretty much vertical. Okay. Well, so you are going to have to stay in. What happens if I do this? That closes the door again. I'm stuck in the closet. Yeah, you're fine. I mean, you got to stay in there anyways. Yeah, that's true. So I'm trying to think here. Hmm. So, I mean, I'm kind of not exactly free to move based on what we've got going here. Well, there's a little ledge, like, past the field that I can step out onto. Yeah, but, like, you can't shoot through the field. You know what I mean? No, what I'm saying is I can get on the other side of the field. Yeah. And shoot stuff across so you can get over here with me. Would that help at all? Probably not. No, I don't think we want to both be in the same spot. The thing is, so like, if you turn around, I'm kind of looking at what you got. I'm assuming that slanted one will get us... Over there to that one. Oh. Over there. Yeah, maybe that doesn't do exactly what I thought it does. Okay, well, I can get back up here easily enough, so I'm gonna... Sorry to... Oh, check this out. Okay. Okay. I see what's going on. Woo! And come with me, cube. Sorry, uh, you can watch my view, I guess. What are you doing? Oh, perfect. I'm ahead of the game. You are ahead of the game. I know what's going on. You have actually taken to this game much faster than I thought you would. No offense, but... Well, some games... Oh, but that destroys the cube, that's right. I gotta destroyed the cube. I gotta think more. You gotta be smarter than the game. I, yeah. That's easier said than done. Okay, so I think I can... Maybe, yeah, okay. Right I was I was thinking that I could kind of fudge it up here. Nope. So what's gonna happen? So you gotta come back out. Well, you gotta open my little door. That's right. You're stuck. I'm stuck. You know whose fault it is? Your fault. Yours. You got you went in there. Okay. So you gotta come out onto the ground floor so you can pass the cube up to me. Whoa. Uh, I just got like some crazy loud audio from your end. That was weird. Okay, jump. Um, let go of the cube at the top of your jump. No, that's not doing it. Are you holding on to the cube? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got it? Yep. Um, can you just try talking for me? for you. Yeah. You having a hard time talking and thinking at the same time as that was going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> Very funny. No, I'm having a hard time uh, hearing your audio. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully, okay, so here's what's going to happen here. So you set up to, to come fly through here. Wait. I'm sure you can kind of figure that out. I'm a big girl. Yes, you are. I can figure out my own portal. Okay, well, um, 
I apologize again for the audio issues. We did what we thought would fix this, and it apparently has not fixed it. So, before the next video, we will fiddle around a little bit more and see if we can totally solve these problems. Okay, so is there a portal like on the ground somewhere that you can get to? Maybe like that one? That you can shoot, I mean? Like your blue? Yep, that should work. So then I should be able to come join you. Oh, we did a little dance. Oh, we got the wave! Alright, well now you're, uh... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Well, I must say, from the perspective of somewhat of a non-gamer, some games definitely have more logical controls than others. And this one seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, gosh, I wish I could figure out these audio issues. Hello? 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 No, I'm not really getting your audio. I'm here! Okay, there you are. Did you like move closer to your web? Yeah, we'll keep talking that loud. Because that's that's working better. Sorry, I have had a really long week. My brain is not particularly awake at the moment. So this is what you got. Sorry, I'm kind of keeping you in the dark here a little bit about what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, it is a co-op game. Sometimes. It would be okay to, like, do it cooperatively. It would be okay. Well, I mean, I half figured out what was going on here. Well, I suppose that's... Gosh, these audio problems are... not great. I I sincerely apologize to all of my viewers. I'm I'm trying to make this work. Okay. So do you want to come through here? Are you still talking or anything? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. When I say audio issues, you should talk some because okay. that'll help me. Okay. So put one there. Okay. And one down here. Now, if I'm correct, you can go all the way through, right? That's that's the plan. Well, let's see if it works. Hopefully, it does. Woo! And then I should go through yours. And through the other one. And, and there land you go. up here. Then I've got this button, which does what exactly? I don't think you pushed it. Well, it made the noise saying I pushed it. Mm. Oh, there's a cube. Oh. It's there. Oh, it's flying through the air. Where did it land? Oh, it's flying through the portals. Yep. I got it. So I'm going to drop it down to you so you can okay. put it on the button. Button. Man, portals show like buttons. Yes. Oh, but then you've got to be able to get up through here. Okay, but that's easy enough. That's just me replacing these portals with my portals. Okay, so you go through the... right? Yep. And uh, then gotcha. you need to get up to the jumper before you place your portals. And then I'm assuming you know where to put the portals themselves? Um, okay, where does the jumper get me? Well, it gets you to the target on the slanted oh. panel across from it. And then there's one more slanted panel to the right of that slanted panel. Yeah, I see it now. And if you oh, put... Shit. Yeah, you kind of got to Yeah. actually get those. Yeah. Before I jump? Yeah, that'd be good. good. So, uh, something that I have talked a lot about in my videos were some of the movies that 
I like and have enjoyed and have kind of influenced me. And of course, I'm kind of thinking of those from a design perspective because anyone who's watched any of my videos knows that I would like to make games. So I kind of like to think about things from a design point of view. And I think it would be interesting to hear some of your favorite movies and why they are your favorite movies. Well, recently we um, I got to go see the movie Her, and I wasn't sure that I would enjoy it that much from the get-go, but it was really a really interesting premise. Um, I lo lost your audio there. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, you are back. I'm back. Yes. I think maybe my hand was covering my microphone. I think that was the problem. Okay, well, you should try not to do that. Okay. Can you Hope hear me now? Yes. Okay. I will let you know if anything weird happens again. Alright. Hopefully it doesn't. How much of that did you catch? Uh... Not much. Do you want to just start over? Sure. Okay. So recently I saw the movie Her. Um, will you press that button? Yes, I will press the button. Uh, I can press the button. Did you press it? No. Oh, I thought you pressed I it already. I not there yet. I said yes, I can. Okay, well this is all going to be like a timing thing. Just keep pressing it maybe? Because I got to, I got yeah, I got to catch this. So you got to kind of figure out the timing while we talk about this. Okay. All right, so you are free to continue talking. Oh, I almost got it. Anyway, so I saw the movie Hurt, and it was really, I thought, an interesting perspective on what's going on with kind of our culture and the mainstream of where technology is going today. And I thought it was, it was a really interesting look at... Oh, crap, I just missed it again. Anyway, I thought... Oh, that was, was close, though. That was really close. Ah! That was okay, a little bit faster. Yeah, you got to anticipate me oh, nice. making the jump through the yellow portal. So now, 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 now. I did it. I did it. Oh, I just missed it. Ah, okay. So a little bit later than that. So now, 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 now. Oh. Realize every time you say now, 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 it's not right. Yeah, well, you got to anticipate me anticipating now. This should hopefully get it. Come on. Oh, I just missed it. That was almost perfect. I'm never going to catch it through that way because I'm not looking the right way that way. So now, 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 now. Got it. Now yeah. i got to figure out. Oh, I'm just going to. What happened? I didn't do anything. Did you, you shoot died. a portal? No. Is this I did not do anything. That, I was, was, that was so weird. What did you do? I didn't do anything. My portal just disappeared and I died. <laughs> well, I guess we will uh, go through this again. Anyways, um, feel free to continue what you were saying now. Sorry, that was late. Yeah, that's fine. I can't, fine. like, see all of it, so... Now, don't worry about seeing it. I'll just tell you. Okay? Okay. Now. I did it like that. Yeah, I, I, I caught it. I don't understand what happened again. I caught it and immediately died. <laughs> Maybe it's a death cube. Uh, well, I mean, I hope not because we need it to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Well, you feel free to go ahead and keep talking. I'll just say now when it's time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, You're covering your mic. Ah, crap. Sorry. Well, yeah. hey, at least we know now, audience, whose fault it is. Oh, yeah. Well, it it is not my fault about the bad audio issues. We have solved the problem. Professionalism here in these videos. Now. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. Okay, go ahead and finish your train of thought. Wait, anyway. I thought it was a really interesting look at where our society now. is and where how we view relationships and view love even among each other because it's become so ubiquitous. Did you get the cube? Turn around. Did I get it to you? Yes, I got okay. it. Okay, at least you got the cube. I understand what was happening, why I was dying. Why? Uh, well, 
first of all, because I'm dumb. Well, okay. <laughs> um, it's kind it, of given it, at this point. The game is programmed so that if you throw an item in midair, it changes your kind of your velocity and your direction. Oh, so the game physics just work that way. Yeah. So now you just jump over on the jump pad, and we'll make it. I wonder if that dancing has some effect on you. So now you can definitely keep talking. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Trust me, they're used to it. This happens <laughs> in my videos all the time. Lost my train of thought. Okay, anyway, I thought that um, just because technology is so much a part of our relationship now, it's how we communicate, and, I mean, technology is always around, and it's always kind of a struggle to balance between the technology and the people who are not, you know, physically there with you versus the people who are right in front of you. So I just thought it was it was really relatable to what, you know, everybody is kind of going through with the spread of all this new technology. Yeah, definitely. Um, I I can definitely see where you're coming from uh, coming from from that. One, uh, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about as far as some of the things that her hit on was the difference that people felt. Okay, so if you do a portal there and one there. There. Okay, yep, and then we just want to time it, right? I don't know that we really need the silly little timer. Okay, or you could just go for it. It's not going to work because we need to do it at the same okay. time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ta da! Um, yeah. So, you know, one of the things that I was kind of thinking about with her was that there was such a difference in people's opinions of the relationship. And, it, you know, I found that interesting because, you know, I'm kind of thinking about how how I communicate in, in, you know, in my relationships. And basically all of my... You're going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die? I don't want to die? You might. They're coming for you. What? Yeah. Look at the, look at the spikes. They were going to get you. I saved you. Uh, um, spikes. I didn't see the spikes. But one of the... You know, I thought I thought it was kind of powerful because you know, I think about the way I communicate and it is for the most part through things like texting, through things like talking on the phone, through I mean we're we're talking on Skype right now. And it's just interesting because it's you know, it's not viewed as weird for us to communicate like this, but when it was a man communicating in those same ways but not with another human being people's viewpoints were totally changed well, exactly. on, on that relationship. How, I mean, I've had plenty of friends who've had long distance relationships and it, you know, might as well be the same thing. If you're on another continent, then how much is it really different from a human consciousness communicating through, you know, artificial media versus an artificial consciousness communicating through an artificial medium? Sure. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely see that. Okay, um, yeah, you got to go stand on the. I'm about to die, but. Oh, it only works if I hold it, so I'm definitely gonna die. Yep, I died. But you know uh, what? What was really impressive was that even even besides all of that, you know, even if even if it wasn't so based on a technological, uh, you know, kind of storyline, it was still just like a really really powerful movie about relationships. Yeah, for sure. Uh, of people and in you know, are you standing on that platform? Perfect. I am standing on the platform. You know, in a, in a time where where most of our movies present such kind of fake representations. Do you know what you're doing now that you're up there? No. There should be something you can get to before I die, maybe. There's nothing up here. Yeah, there is. Okay. okay. I'll explain to you when I come back. Um, <clears throat> you know, so so many of our of our, you know, romance movies and relationship movies are 
really not meaningful at all. So if you put one there, and then one there. Oh, I can jump down. Right. And I guess. Right. Gotcha. Okay. I was looking up, not down. It's Makes funny. sense. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go get you where you need to be. You know, but I mean, the director was one, and yes, anyone who watches my videos knows where this is going. I'm about to get movie nerdy on you. Uh, you know, Spike Jones, his movies have always been that kind of feel. I mean, oh, did that not work? Did you not get... I'm here. No, I'm not. I fell down. Did you fall off the platform, or did you jump off the platform? I didn't move. There was... Hold on. In order to get through the purple... Did you fall or jump? I jumped. Okay. Right. I don't know. I did jump. <laughs> Something tells me you probably fell instead of jumped. See, that's another thing. The not having a lot of experience with games. You kind of just assume that it's the same thing. Because in reality, the physics of it, you jumping would only get you a couple feet higher and wouldn't really make that much of a difference. But in a game... That apparently makes Whoa. Did you end up hitting a button? Yep. I'm over here now. Oh, and now I can go through. Yay, we stopped the death trap. Yay. Um, so anyways, I will continue on with the point that I was beginning to make. Uh, you know, anyone who's seen any of Spike Jones' other films knows that that is definitely, you know, his kind of perspective on the whole, th on the whole thing. He... I mean, anyone who's seen Being John Malkovich knows, like, his movies are so much about relationships with other people. And I think that's great because so many movies are not about that. Do you want to be ready to stand there and make a portal here for me, just over my red? Over your red? Yep. I think you might be covering your mic. Sorry. Yep. It's in a really weird place with where I have go to Go through, go through. You work shit. Sorry, I was distracted because I was talking. Okay, and then okay. you have to make me a purple. Yes. Um, there isn't a spot for me to make you a purple. Have you looked on the ceilings and walls yes. and such? Oh. Yeah, I told you. Well. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, I don't know, because I have to try and be fat. Uh, maybe if I don't get stuck on a on a texture, maybe I'll be able to make it through. <laughs> now, I got it. This is Portal being cute. You know, I think I think that is like such an important thing that so many directors miss now, is just the idea that, I mean, you are making a movie, and most movies have people <laughs> you know so so I mean <laughs> you know I mean I say it kind of in jest but it's so true like oh oh dang it I've gotta also be smart um, you know it's so important that your movie kind of portrays people in a believable way you know and I'm not saying that every movie has to be kind of a, a, a hyper-realistic look of people because there's certainly a time and a place for movies to not focus on that you know I mean like I wouldn't want the Avengers to have super realistic human characters because that's not what the Avengers is about but at the same time I, I don't want to watch a romance movie where everything is perfect and the second they meet, they fall in love, and everything lasts happily forever and after. Because that's, you know, that's not the way that relationships work. Well, see, I think the problem is, is that most of what, you know, we consider romance movies, they're really, they're fantasy movies. They, yeah, definitely. Because they're, you know, a fantasy of what the perfect relationship and the perfect, you know, experience of falling in love is, instead of a realistic look about what it's actually like to be in a relationship. Right. That I mean, that is that is exactly true. Because I mean, anyone who's been in a relationship knows, like, there there's nothing easy about it. Ever, you know, being in a relationship is not easy, and it's not supposed to be. Because I think if it 
if it wasn't hard, people wouldn't kind of, you know, take that chance to kind of put themselves out there and get to know someone else. Well, it's definitely one of those risk-reward things that you just, there's only so much you can gain if you're not risking. Right. And just like anything else, anything really worth having takes a lot of work to get. Definitely. Where are you? I'm, I'm like way down at the bottom of this thing, and I don't think I should, well, I do think I should be, but not to the extent that I am. I think I could have done this without walking all the way down here. Um, anyways, well, <laughs> I have also talked about her some in my videos, so... Um, are there any other... No, we're heading back the other way. I promise we don't need to be down there any more than I just was. But... Check this out. You wait by that pipe. <coughs> Where the... Yeah, because I think if I do this right, the button should release a box. Okay. Oh, well, went so up and back down. Oh. Weird. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Okay? You go, 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 go. Go over there. No, turn around. Oh. Yeah, follow me. Okay? So you're going to wait. Oh, actually, check this out. So you shoot a portal down there. Okay? Gosh. Where? Ne next to my. Don't shoot it over. Don't fall down. Oh. Well, while you're down there, I guess you can shoot one. Uh, that may be a little close to mine. Yeah, but you want it to be straight up and down if you can. Oh my gosh. It, trust me, it's only to make it easier for you. Okay. Like that? Yep, so now make your way back up here. Okay, here is the, uh, here's the question. Do you want to launch the box or do you want to catch the box? Launch the box. <laughs> I figured you would say that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so were there any other movies that you would like to discuss? Maybe we've got time probably for one more movie. One more movie. Let's see. So now you shoot one on the... on there. Oh my gosh, you don't have to... You're being a little overzealous, I think. Okay, so two, right, is, yep. is the catcher. Kay. So you are going to want to land in my red. Okay. Where's your red? Red. Which is on the left. Yep. So after you. How much? Okay, Thanks. button pressed. If I go through now. Oh, I just missed it. No. Oh, oh that's so unfortunate. I don't know that I can. Oh. Yes, I can get back. So I want to go put my red one here. <laughs> Oh, there you are. So that I can come out. Yep, sorry. It's just a timing thing, and... Well, we've seen how good I am at the timing things. Okay, so, if you want to fall through my red again... Okay. And you can begin to talk about your movie of choice. Well, I think... I'd like to talk about one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid, which is actually Apollo 13, strangely enough. It was a movie that my dad always really liked, and I watched, and liked a lot. I thought it was a really interesting look about at, you know, how much... Through my red again. Uh, again, honey? Yeah, because I, I messed up again, okay? It's not easy to time. Anyway. Um, I thought it was a really cool look at how much people <sighs> do with Fudge. really very little, because I don't know if, you know, how familiar our viewers are with Apollo 13, but it was in the mid 60s? 60s sometime. Do the right again. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know when I do it correctly. Okay. I'll <laughs> just keep doing it over and over again. Yes. <laughs> okay, anyway. And um, the entire Apollo capsule had less computing power than, you know, a common handheld calculator does today. So it was really, you know, amazing what they were able to do. And, um,. I was, I didn't go to public elementary school, I was homeschooled, 
And so I kind of had a different perspective on the whole thing about, you know, all these people who were, you know, right in their boxes and doing exactly what they oh, were doing. Oh, that was so lame. Else. But then we're forced to kind of think out of the box and use all these, be really very creative and figure out how to get these astronauts back to Earth. Have you ever seen Apollo 13? Um, I think I have, but it was a while ago now, so I wouldn't remember. But I, you know, I'm kind of think, gosh, that it, the timing is weird because based on when you press the button, the next one goes. Uh huh. So, like, say if you press it just after the last one went, I've got longer to wait, you know. Yeah. So I'm just having a little trouble with the timing here, but that's fine. We'll get it. We can just continue talking. Um. What you know, I kind of know about the actual historical event right. though and um, it kind of reminds me of the issues with gosh I just missed that one with the um, the Mars rover uh, which one? gosh yeah, I, I think two? what's that? like spirit and opportunity? Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure which one it, it was a couple years ago but there were there, there was you know a complication and it's it's uh, it's a video that that is easily found on YouTube now, um, but it was one of those things where like you know hundreds and hundreds, you know perhaps even thousands of engineers had worked on this thing, and there was a complication that happened on Mars, and it was one of those situations where everything had to go perfectly. Engineering from here. To um, to fix the problem, you know, and it, it was that kind of thing. It's just kind of incredible what we actually pull off now. Yeah. Well, and you know, another thing about that movie is that it really like I've kind of always thought like I'm always thinking about contingency plans, like you know, what would I do if this happened, or how would I fix this problem, or that kind of thing. It's kind of you know, problem solving skills, which is something I think that's really important in today's world in that, you know, having skills like that is something that a computer is not going to be able to do. Right. And, you know, that kind of complex critical thinking and problem solving is something that, you know, that's one of the few things that only humans can do. Right. And, well, at least at this point anyway, I mean, who knows? So I've future. stopped this giant fan over here. So there's got to be, because your one of your portals is at the bottom of the big pit. Right. So there's got to be a, a panel that you can use. Blue down there. To jump across to the other side and try not to nudge me because this is important where it's placed. Um. No, yeah. like like look behind me probably. Okay. There oh, should yeah. be like a slanted panel. Yeah, like yeah, where my yellow is, perfect. Yep. And then if you jump down into your pit, hopefully you will fly across. Yeah. Okay. So now, what can you do from over there? Uh -huh. Anything? Well, there's a little energy field to go through. Okay. Should I um, is there like? Is there a surface over there that you can put a portal on so that I could get back to you? Like over to you, maybe? Um, there must be something somewhere. And there's there's not. The anything. ground, maybe, even? Nope. Hmm. Because as soon as I drop this, the fan starts going again. I'm wondering if maybe through that room there's something. Uh, well, it's worth a check. You wanna go look? Okay, there's a bunch yeah, of... Yeah, I need to be there to open that door, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um... Hmm. The thing is, like, it's weird. I've got this kind of grate in my way. Well, I found a spot I can put a portal. Is it outside? Um... Of, yeah, that's inside the little thing, though, right? Yeah. The, you know, the thing is, it would only work if you could 
you can't shoot portals from from in that room to over here, can you? <laughs> no. Oh, there's a fan shut down. Oh, hey. That may be what we're looking for. <laughs> uh, I think I need like something to put on it though. Well, is there something in there to put on it? That only works if both of us open it, remember? Oh. Go over to your fan shutdown so I can take a look at it. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> can you just, like, press square? I don't have to. <laughs> That's right. Press whatever your use button is, like what you would normally use to grab boxes and stuff. It's not doing anything. Hmm. Okay, so look around. Go over to your right. Is there anything around there that looks like the right kind of thing? Because that seems like it would have to be the solution. Yeah. There's got to be something in here. I mean, I can put a portal there. I mean, I was trying to see if there's a, a, a thing I can do to, to shoot a portal straight across this, but there isn't. Yeah. I mean, I can go down here and look at this, but this doesn't really give me anything. <laughs> what were you talking about before we had this problem? Um... I don't even remember. Oh, what's that? What's what? what what'd you find? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Never mind. Yeah, I feel bad when we get stuck on something like this. I know. I feel like I should be smarter than this. Because yeah, this is not really like a problem we should be having. <laughs> these parts aren't supposed to be that difficult. Okay. <laughs> the, you know, these aren't the actual tests. Maybe there's something out here. If there was, I probably couldn't take it through the damn energy field. Yeah, that's true. So go back through the energy field. I, I'm just kind of watching your view right now. Okay. So I can keep an eye open. Turn to your left. Like all the way to your left. Nope, nothing there. So we know there's nothing on that side because you need me to right. open that door. There's got to be something you can do with the fan shut down. Maybe, oh, uh, oh! You know what that fan shutdown is? What? That's go check out. What is it? Well, I just, I just activated a fan shutdown. Can you now do anything with the fan shutdown button on your side? No. no. And I can't do, like, anything about it from out here. Um, go back through the energy field for me. Because what I've got is a laser shooting at it. Uh, that's what it takes to activate from the other side. So... Can we shoot a laser through that window? Yes. Oh! Maybe I... Maybe Yeah, maybe I can shoot it through the window. Okay, hold on one sec. Because if you set up portals, I can aim it at a portal. Can you aim it at that one? I can attempt to. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me set the other one up. Okay. The only thing is, I don't know how much control I actually have over the height of the laser, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, let me see what I can do here. Okay. Got uh, plenty of time to fiddle around with this, right? Because <laughs> mm -hmm. we seem to be having some problems. So, let's see. Um, well, I may have slightly busted the game. Of course you did. I, yeah, I wish I wasn't kidding. My, I mean, my box is broken. You broke the box? Yeah, take a look at my view. 
What the hell did you do to it? I... Well, I didn't do anything. As far as I... I mean, it, the, the problem is now, it's always got... Okay, I fixed it. Ah. Okay, so that is... Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, the gears are turning now. <laughs> How close am I to your blue portal? Um, you're not quite in the window. Too high? Okay. Yeah. Just like a little bit. Okay, that is not coming through at all. Oh, there you go. A little bit to the right. Well, I can't adjust more. Okay, so well, if you move your blue portal. Hold it there for a sec. Did that stop the fan? Yes. Okay. Um, we it do. Did? We do have a problem though. Because it's not quite right on the fan shutdown thing. Oh well, it needs to be on the fan shutdown thing. Okay. Well, just. Okay, so that is that going to give it? Yes. Okay, so that shut down the laser too. I was concerned because um, <laughs> if you could see things from from my perspective, there was no way that I was going to be able to activate my portals oh. without the laser being figured out. But now I can go through the fan. I landed on the fan, but that's okay. Yeah, that's what happened to me too. <laughs> All right, so let's go do okay. this. Three, two, one. Pull. Gosh, we sincerely apologize for that being a problem. Hopefully you don't mind our ramblings too much, because you got about ten minutes more than we were planning. <laughs> oh my gosh, up the stairs. I have the disc. I have the almighty disc. I'm stuck. Mind I'm not stuck. You know what that means. You found the Oh, you were too far away. Oh. All right, and I think this will be a great spot for us to end another video. So as soon as we are done with the little loading screen here, we should be back in our kind of hub world and we can kind of get a look at how much we have left. Maybe kind of get an estimate sort of of how many more episodes we think this is going to run. You still there? I'm still here. Perfect. Yes, so we are here. Oh, that was a weird one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we've got. Ooh, I've taken a lot of steps. That you have. So okay. You leave me to like wait in places all the time. So we've got number three there, up there. Um, I have a feeling there's more than that though. Just because we have not. Wow, we've placed 287 portals wow. for uh, 12 tests. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Try um, folks. Try well, I don't think we really have a way of knowing how much more is left, but we are having a blast doing this. I don't mean to speak for you, but I'm having a blast, and I assume you are too. Yeah. Yeah. So I hope you know. I hope everyone is enjoying watching it. Let's uh, let's do our traditional. Oh, wrong button. Heifel yeah. Tower. Yeah. All right. So as always. If you guys uh, have any comments, please leave comments. How about this time, since we talked a little bit about movies, you could tell us what your favorite movie is. And I think that will be very interesting to see what everyone's opinion on that is. And we sincerely hope that you enjoyed this episode of Multiplayer Mondays. If you did, subscribing to the channel and liking the video to let us know that you enjoyed it could be very helpful. and will let us know to keep making this uh, brand of content in the future. And with that, we thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.